Hello and welcome to day 23 of our fall daily draw. My name is Miss Ashley and today we're going to be drawing some acorns. So let's go ahead and get started by grabbing a blank piece of paper and your pencil. But I'm going to be using a sharpie so you can see my line. Now make sure your paper is vertical, which means up and down. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be drawing that square in the top right corner. And then I'm going to write the number 23. Now you can write it however you would like. That is up to you. Now I'll go back and fill in those areas later. But for my acorn, first what I am going to do is draw two curved lines going up. So I'm gonna start from the left side of my paper. And I'm gonna draw one curved line going up and another curved line going up. Now I like to make sure that it doesn't extend all the way to the end, nor do I add a line right there to chop off that branch. We're just gonna leave it like that. And remember, you are using your pencil for this. Now I'm going to go to the bottom of that branch and just draw two curved lines coming down on the left and two on the right. Now below those curved lines that we drew, we do need to draw a rainbow. So first watch me as we draw a curve going down and then you're gonna continue that curve to the right side. So there is our rainbow curve. And then you're just gonna make sure that the bottom is slightly curved and draw another slight curve line like a rainbow for the top of the acorn. <clears throat> now on the left side, you're gonna bring this down and then curve and same on the right side. Now <clears throat> we're going to bring this curve and curve it just ever so slightly at the bottom. And then we'll add another curve. Now you might notice that I made sure not to attach those lines because I'm actually going to draw my acorn shape again. But this acorn is somewhat hiding behind this one, so I'm not going to draw my entire acorn. Now you can leave it like this, or you can add some leaves. And to draw those leaves, I'm going to curve on both sides. Whatever I do on the left side, I need to do on the right side. So I'm just continuing to draw those kind of pointed edges of my leaf. And I'll do that to the right side as well, but this leaf is hiding behind the left one, just like with our acorn. You can make those leaves as big as you'd like, or you don't even have to have any leaves at all. Now, if you want to add some leaves falling or maybe some more acorns, that is totally up to you. But once you are done, your picture is going to look something like this. Now, because um, mine is in pencil, it looks like this. So you can either take a Sharpie or a different colored marker, um, but we are going to be outlining our picture. I was trying to see if I had another Sharpie, but I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. I'll get started with my leaves first before I move on to my box. And again, you don't have to use the um, same Sharpie that I'm using. You can use brown or red. That is totally up to you. Thank you. 
referring back down. So you can see that that leaf is slightly hiding behind it. And don't forget your square because today is the 23rd of November. And I like to fill this in. You don't have to if you don't want to. That's up to you. Just make sure as you are filling it in, you are going for those nice long strokes. And then I'll finish the rest of my picture. Now I'm also adding some lines for that branch. Just make sure as you are adding them that they're curved, not straight. And then we'll draw over the acorns. Once you are done, I'm going to go ahead and put that Sharpie aside and you're going to grab your eraser and erase any of those pencil lines that you see. All right, I'm going to carefully erase them. are done erasing, you're going to go ahead and take out a brown marker. We're going to be adding some little U shapes in the acorn, just on the top part though. You know, you can add as many as you want or very few. That is up to you. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is just take out my chalk pastels. And I'm going to work from top to bottom. So if you didn't draw leaves on your acorns, that's okay. You can just skip to the next step. But for my leaves, I am going to make them this nice um, red-orange color by just filling it in. I'm going to do it on both leaves. And a little bit of chalk dust goes a long way, so do be careful as you are blending. I like to use just one finger, <clears throat> especially for those really small areas. especially those little stems. So really try your best to get as close as you can to those lines as possible. And to really blend that color because you want it nice and smooth. And if you need to use extra color, you can always go back over and add it. I'm just going to go over, making sure it's nice and even. Now, if you find that you've gone outside of your lines, 
that is okay. You can always just take an eraser. Make sure you don't have any um, chalk dust on your paper. And you take your eraser and just erase along those edges. We're gonna go ahead and move on, <clears throat> excuse me, to our branch. Oh, but before we do move on to the branch, we do need to finish the leaves first, which I'm just gonna add a darker red shading on the left side. And just take my finger and softly blend. Now I'm not going back and forth, I'm just making sure to have it only on the left side of my leaves because then what we are going to do is we're going to take that same red, add a line down the middle and coming out on the side. Now it doesn't have to be exactly even. Just make sure you do take your finger and just run right over it. Then we can move on to our branch. So I'm just going to be taking my brown and just very simply just going over it like this and blend. Now the top of my acorn does need to be brown, but I am going to do some shading with it using the same brown. So we want to make sure that the top of our acorn um, even though that they are with um, this brown chalk pastel, you want to make sure that it's not too heavy and dark. Because when you go back over it with the same color and press harder, you can actually create some shading. So I'm going to take that same brown that I used and just run it along the sides on the left on both sides. Because then you can just take one finger and just gently go back and forth to create that shading. Then when you're done with that, we're just going to be taking this nice tan and filling the rest of our acorn and blend. Now if you have a lot of dust, try your best to spread it around. <clears throat> and get as close as you can to those lines. Really try your best to blend. And if you have a lot of dust, no worries, you can always just pick it up and tap. Now I do want these sides to be a little bit darker, so I'm actually going to be taking this brown and I'm just going to run it along just the side on the left. And then I'll take my finger and just gently blend up and down, up and down, and then you can go in the middle and blend back and forth. So that way it creates that nice soft gradient where there's shading. One last time, I'm gonna tap my picture on the table just to get off that chalk dust. And you can keep adding to your background. You can make it one solid color. You can just leave it as is. Now, if you do have any of those smudges, whether it's from your fingers or um, blending, you can always take that eraser and erase off of those areas that you didn't want colors. And that is it for day 23 of our fall daily draw. Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.